Krigler-Najjar syndrome Krigler-Najjar syndrome is an inherited disorder resulting from a defect in the gene involved in bilirubin conjugation Krigler-Najjar syndrome is rare and may result in death may be divided into two types. Type 1. Complete absence of enzymatic bilirubin conjugation Type 2. Severe deficiency of the enzyme. Heme liberated from above sources oxidized to biliverdin by heme oxygenase. Biliverdin is immediately reduced to bilirubin by the enzyme biliverdin reductase. The bilirubin formed is known as unconjugated bilirubin. Unconjugated bilirubin reversible binding of bilirubin to serum albumin and transport into hepatocytes. Unconjugated bilirubin, not water-soluble, combines with one or two molecules of glucuronic acid and the presence UDP glucuronyl transferase forms water-soluble bilirubin diglucuronide conjugated bilirubin. But in this syndrome due to absence of this enzyme unconjugated bilirubin into conjugated bilirubin and increase unconjugated bilirubin in body. Krigler-Najjar syndrome type 1 rare. Autosomal recessive disorder due to complete absence of enzyme characterized by chronic, severe, unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia produce severe jaundice, icterus and death secondary to kernicterus within 18 months of birth. Fatal within 15 months of life phototherapy. Krigler-Najjar syndrome type 2. Less severe, non-fatal disorder, partial deficiency of UGT1A1 enzyme, autosomal dominant, more benign than type 1 bilirubin less than 20 mg per deciliter diagnosis. Unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, type 1 20 minus 50 mg per deciliter, type 2. Less than 20 mg per deciliter stool color type 1. Pale yellow, type 2, normal. Treatment medications phenobarbital. Useful in type 2, induces residual UGT activity, surgery, liver transplant, definitive treatment, phototherapy. In first years of life, effectiveness decreases over time plasmapheresis plus albumin infusions exchange transfusion.